How's it going guys? Cold there, back again, dropping yet another video. Right guys, uh, this story came to my attention because the father of a prisoner who sadly and tragically passed away in HMP Lomos uh, near Bishop's Briggs near Glasgow just a few weeks ago uh, has reached out to me to let me know that this morning uh, a prisoner was found dead in his cell at HMP Perth in Scotland. Um, <clears throat> now this is the fifth death in... I think about just over three and a half weeks, right? Now, it's alarming, guys. My heart goes out to Stephen Dickey's friends and family. Um, this is the prisoner that's died. Um, I'm going to read the story, guys. I'm going to do my bit at the end. Um, he was in prison for murder, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Um, so feel free to put your comments as well, guys, in the comment section. Uh, let's get into it. Man convicted of murdering Stephen Donaldson found dead in his cell. As with all prison stories, guys, link will be in the description below like we always do. Stephen Dickey was sentenced to a minimum of 23 years behind bars for his part in the murder of the 27-year-old last year. A man who was convicted of killing Stephen Donaldson has been found dead in his cell. Stephen Dickey, God bless him. Uh, my thoughts and prayers with your friends and your family at a sudden tragic time was sentenced to a minimum of 23 years behind bars for his part in the murder of the 27-year-old last year. Prison officers discovered uh, Dickie's body at HMP Perth on Friday morning. A spokesperson for the Scottish Prison Service said Stephen Alexander Dickie, 24, a prisoner at HMP Perth, has died. He was convicted at Edinburgh Court on the 30th of May 2019. Police Scotland have been advised and the matter reported to the Procurator Physical. A fatal accident inquiry will be held in due course. And then there's a picture of Stephen Dickey. God bless him. Uh, may he rest in peace. That picture will be at the start, guys. <clears throat> Donaldson ex-girlfriend uh, Tam Tasmin Glass was sentenced to 10 years behind bars after she was convicted of culpable homicide. Glass was found to have lured the victim to a place park before he was brutally murdered. Callum Davidson and Stephen Dickey then drove to Kiri Muir's lock of Kinordi Nature Reserve, where the oil worker Stephen was killed with a heavy bladed weapon. Obviously, God bless Stephen Donaldson. Um, may he rest in peace. Obviously, he was obviously tragically murdered last year. Thoughts and prayers, obviously, with his friends and family. Donaldson's body was found battered and burned beside the charred shell of his BMW during the early hours of June the 7th, 2018. An autopsy revealed that the Arbroath man had been stabbed, struck with a baseball bat and had his spine severed by a sword or a machete. Davidson was jailed for a minimum of 24 years for the brutal murder, while Dickey was jailed for a minimum of 23 years. While passing down their sentence at the High Court in Edinburgh in May of this year, Lord Judge Lord Pentland said that Dickey and Davidson had used extreme violence in the attack. He described the victim as a loved and admired young man who had established who had established career. Uh, he had many years of his life to look forward to, the judge said. Lord Pentland told Dickie and Davidson, you cut him down without mercy. He added, What I am left with is a clear picture demonstrating that you are both cold-blooded, violent and unrepentant. The Daily Record previously reported that Dickie, along with Callum Davidson and Tasmin Glass, will be appealing their sentences for their part in the death of Donaldson. And that's the end of that story, guys. Uh, link in the description below, like I always do. Now, like I say, uh, I'm not going to speculate as to why uh, Stephen Donaldson uh, was murdered, um, but my obviously my thoughts and prayers go out to his friends and his family. Uh, and obviously, Stephen, Stephen Dickey, who obviously was alleged, well, was convicted, uh, for his part in this murder of Stephen Donaldson. Now, like I say, um, <clears throat> obviously there's going to be no sympathy from Stephen Donaldson's friends or family uh, to Stephen Dickey or Stephen Dickey's friends and family. But as an ex-con who speaks up for prisoners, um, my heart and my prayers and my thoughts go out to uh, Stephen Dickey's family. Now, like I say, guys, no mother, no father should ever ever have to bury their son now like i said he was only convicted in may of this year um so like i say a few weeks before christmas you get this horrific 
um, like, well, not a phone call because they would have gone to his, his mother and father's address or his mum's address if there was a strange or father's address. But he's gone to tell his next of kin um, that he was found in his cell dead. Now, like I say, first thing you see when you see this is with the amount of mental health in prison and suicides and everything, you, you could potentially look at that. I'm not going to speculate into how uh, Stephen D Dickey has died. It'd be wrong to do that. And like I say, his family are grieving. Uh, this happened, he was found this morning, guys. So it's a very, very raw and very real thing that they're going through right now. Um, and like I say, so obviously Stephen Donaldson's dead. He was murdered in this horrific incident. His family will still be grieving because the grief doesn't go away, does it? It sends shockwaves and ripple effects through the friends and the family. And some people just never, ever recover from that. And then they will have obviously been there through the trial, which, like I said, finished at the end of May. And that's when they were sentenced. Uh, Tasman Glass, this Callum, and um, obviously Stephen Dickey. So they're still grieving for their boy. And now Stephen Dickey, friends and family are grieving for him. So it's just a um, sad state of affairs. I mean, like I say, we don't know what the circumstances are of the death. It would be wrong to speculate. That's why I'm not going to do that out of respect. Um, but it's just, it's just sad and tragic, guys. Now, like I say, um, there's been five deaths in as many weeks in Scottish prisons. Now, people might think, well, five deaths in a few weeks that's not a lot well here it is and when you look at the prison population in england and wales we've had 90 um 90 self-inflicted deaths here in england and wales this year that doesn't take into consideration death uh, overdoses medical negligence natural causes things like that but we've had 90 in england and wales um so far this year and then but our prison population stands at between 82 and about 86,000, right? In Scotland, I think that their prison population is like 8,700 and something. And there's only 15 jails in Scotland and that's including female jails as well. And I think that includes um, young offenders institutions as well, like Pullman, which is in Falkirk. Um, but yeah, just five deaths when you've got a prison population of just, like I said, 8,700 and something. It's shocking guys. And like I say, People go to prison to be rehabilitated, but unfortunately, guys, body bags are as much part of prison life as the understaffing, the drugs, the corruption, the violence, the debt, the self-harm, um, the mental health, and just everything you can imagine. What's going on in our prisons, guys, is absolutely shocking, and uh, nobody cares. Now, like I say, with this, there'll be a fatal accident inquiry, which is it's the... That's a Scottish equivalent to what we have in England and Wales of the independent, they were not independent at all, uh, prisoner probation ombudsman. In Scotland, it's called a fatal accident inquiry. <clears throat> um, if Stephen Dickey's friends and family are watching this, I mean, unless it's a, str uh, a straight cut, um, open and closed case, if, the, if you've got any shroud of doubt or whatever, or whatever the prisoner telling you, just take it with a pinch of salt because what the prisons say and what the truth is, is two very different versions of events. Now, like I say, um, if the family see this, please feel free, reach out to me if you want. I can put you into contact with uh, another father who actually made me aware of this story. Um, he's, um, he's, he's currently uh, in the process of booking the funeral arrangement. and Well, he's arranged the funeral arrangements for his son, who died in HMP Lomos um, just a few weeks ago. Um disheartens me this sort of stuff it really really does guys like i say yes he was he, he was a convicted murderer there was all appeal in the sentence that's neither here nor there but like i say convicted murderer now i still got he's a general population prisoner he's not a rapist he's not a child murderer he's not a pedophile so my heart and my thoughts my prayers go out to him definitely so but also we've got to remember that stephen donaldson's friends and family will be still grieving a year on uh, from his murder and like I say, there'll be a lot of hate and anger towards this ta Tasman Glass, St uh, Stephen Dickey and Callum, who was also convicted. Um, and like I say, they, they might feel cheated that he, he's not suffering or whatever like that. But 
I just I don't get the disrespectful side of things. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a prisoner that's that's now deceased, uh, and his his body will obviously, he, his body will be transferred to a morgue a mortuary, um, and then they'll carry out a post mortem in due course and everything. Friends and family in that time are not allowed to touch his body or anything. They can go, they can view him through a viewing window, which is just despicable, to be honest with you. Uh, not able to touch their son. Um, to be near him, just to view him through a window like you're at the zoo or something. The way that prisoners are treated is disgusting. Uh, I have no faith in the Scottish Prison Service. And like I say, you, there's a lot of questions to be answered here. But um, my thoughts and prayers very much go out to uh, Stephen Dickey's friends and family. But also we've got to make reference to Stephen Donaldson's friends and family as well. Um, God bless him. May rest in peace. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.